Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex, and this is the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight from New York, New York, the city you see right below you there. And hello, people, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, this is uh, our uh, Thursday edition of the program, and uh, we're glad to have you on board. Um, and uh, let me see here. Uh, oh yes, uh, we got something to do tonight. Um, <laughs> We've been doing it for the last couple of weeks because he says he's available and, well, when we don't have something else to run, what else can we do but put this guy on? And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our uh, fine little uh, gathering here that which is Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. How are you, Philip? I'm fine. Thanks for getting dressed up. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm my is that your formal wear? This is my formal wear, yeah. This yeah. is my, uh, you know, it's been cold yeah. here in New York still, so. Yeah, bang on the pipes. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know, I'm, it's not like California where it's always beautiful and sunny. and. Well, uh, not today. It's not, raining uh, like cats and dogs. Well, good. I'm glad it did. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. we need the water, but... Uh, you know, I was listening to your show the other night, and you were talking about your newest ailment. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking that maybe I should say a quote from Gilbert Gottfried. Mm. Alex Bennett, are you still alive? Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, I am. I am that I am. I am what I am. We'll see how long that'll take. No, yeah. actually, what I've got, what I may have, we don't mm -hmm. know yet whether I have it or not. All I know is that the people over at the... Um, uh, blood and cancer section of Mount Sinai yeah. are, are willing to see me. So they feel that at least there was something indicative in my blood test that might see it. So they want to take other blood tests, their own blood tests, and yeah. uh, see if, uh, if I've got it. The thing is, with, if I'm lucky, most of the time with this one is caught in the early, early stages. Uh, yeah. And this may not be the early stages, but I don't have any symptoms. But if you're asymptomatic, uh, they just do a watch and wait thing. They yeah, well, yeah, no. it won't take long. It'll, it'll the parts will fall off by themselves. Yeah, right, right. They, <laughs> people say that uh, this is something that you don't die from; you die with. With, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, I I hope uh, that they find that. It's totally treatable, or you don't have anything at all. Well, it is if they if it is advanced. Let's say it is treatable. Mm -hmm. I mean, there yeah. are treatments for it. There's no no cure, but there are treatments yeah. for it to mitigate the problems. So. Yeah, and uh, tell the audience that doesn't know what you've been uh, diagnosed with. It's a form of leukemia. Well, no, the, no, no. Well, the, the, I haven't been diagnosed with it yet. My uh, primary care physician suspects that that's what it might be a possibility. Yeah. And, and it's called CLL, which is chronic lymphatic uh, leukemia, which is mm -hmm. not uncommon and probably the least deadly of all the leukemias, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's something that uh, uh, people, uh, ha I, one person had it for up to 60 years and was asymptomatic. Now, know? it couldn't have had anything to do with the prostate cancer that you had? No, no, no nothing. No. Know. Okay. The Didn't only thing I'm worried about is spread. that uh, it does kind of make the uh, COVID vaccine less uh, effective. Okay. Well, it's been definitely less effective with you. You've had COVID three times. Yeah, but it, but uh, but I have taken the Paxlovid and it immediately knocks it out. So I don't yeah. know that that I haven't been protected. It's just maybe I have a slightly bigger propensity towards catching it. Yeah. So as long as I get the Paxlovid, I'm fine. I'm if I go to Europe, yeah. I'm going to ask my doctor to give me a packet of Paxlovid in case I come down with it, you know. Yeah, so. well, that would be a bummer, taking a trip of a lifetime and then uh, <laughs> getting COVID. No, no. 
because yeah. Paxlovid knocks it out in a day. Yeah, that's know. true. Yeah. Did you um, book anything yet? No, for, uh, no, I'm, I'm waiting to get the money. Oh. Uh, you know. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of money coming my way. Yeah. Um, more than I ever expected I would have in my life, actually, to yeah. be honest with you. And, well, and uh, until I we guess... get, but until we get it, we're waiting for the probate to be over with. And, you know, oh, all... he, it, it's being probated. It's not. Well, it was uh, probated, uh, and trust? now it's in uh, the assets have been determined, and now they're liquidating the assets. Mm -hmm. So as soon as they do all of that, they'll know what kind of money they have and if they can give everybody the money they're supposed to get, which well, is not going to be a problem. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, he he ran a uh, tight ship, I think. Yeah, well, he was he was quite wealthy, quite yeah. wealthy. I think he was worth somewhere in the neighborhood of ten million dollars. Wow. Yeah. It, was that all from the Letterman show, or no, 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 no. A lot of it had to do with his film archives and things like that, but it also had to do with uh, the fact that he um, um, uh, his brother invested a lot of his money very well. So mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. he left a lot of money to a lot of people. So yeah, well that's that's very nice. And also to his sister-in-law's foundation, gets to, yeah. everything that isn't called for it goes to the sister's foundation. Everything is so left over. So what what was the sister's foundation? She has some kind of I don't know what it is for, or what it does, but uh, it's a, it's a, he seemed to like the foundation and he felt compelled to leave money to it. So oh. you know, well, which is very great. good. You know. Uh, and he left me a, a, a decent amount, and, uh, you know, I, I couldn't yeah. be happier. I mean, we're going to be able to take a lot of trips and see if we can spend the money before I drop dead. <laughs> you know? So. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. But anyway, hey, so, yeah. Uh, I, I sent you a list of uh, puff things that, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about with you. Yeah. But uh, let's save some Trump stuff for the end because I guess there's some breaking news about what's going on in uh, Gaza with um, well, it's not breaking uh, Israelis news. It's happened and the, earlier today. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, it happened this morning. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, of course, the, uh, uh, the court case that uh, went up to the Supreme Court, and a couple of them, actually. But, uh, you know, we can talk about those after uh, you know, we talk about things that I, I think people really would like to know uh, about you and your life. Mm. And so, you know, one of the questions I had was, uh, you know, what things happened to you backstage at your shows or concerts uh, that, that you were at that, you know, was kind of memorable and as something that, you know, you, you, you well, really... Well, I saw your list here and I saw that at the top of it and... My answer to that question is absolutely nothing. No, even when you were at Woodstock and well, no, that that's years ago. And Doesn't that, matter. That's and that what had I'm nothing asking. to do with before my concerts or before my well, uh, shows, not necessarily you know. yours. Uh, you know, well, I mean, I could can, I could spend the next two hours talking about the Woodstock experience. Yeah, well, know. give give us a couple of uh, uh, there's nothing, nuggets. There's nothing really well. I, uh, nah, I mean, I've told I've told most of the stories on the air. Yeah, well, this is uh, you know the Phil and Alex part where I get to ask these things. Yeah, well, I uh, but I you know it, you don't it, like that one. I'll go to the next one. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second. Yeah. Um, um, the most memorable thing at Woodstock was we were backstage in the press tent. Yeah. And backstage with me was Abby Hoffman and uh, Jerry Rubin. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were sitting there. We were just talking back and forth. And this guy's over in the corner. He's typing. He's obviously from a newspaper. And he's typing. And then he finally stands up and he says, uh, somebody, I need an average concert goer here. Give me a <laughs> quote about this, yeah. about Woodstock. And Abby, of course, always the one ready for a quote, said, this is the greatest event since the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> and the guy goes yeah. back to his typewriter and starts typing it. Did he think twice before he filed? He didn't even, yeah, he didn't even know who the guy was he was asking. You know? <laughs> anyway, uh, next question. All right. And, you know, this is no, no particular order, but uh, you know, I've, been, I've been collecting records lately. What are you lately. doing, interviewing me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess. <laughs> you know, I've been collecting records lately, and, you know, I, there, there are songs now that I listen to that I didn't like when I was younger, but I like now. 
For instance, I, I didn't like the Guess Who. I thought they were a ripoff of the Who. Uh, and uh, I never thought they were a ripoff of the Who. No, their name. No, was I a know, but they had the, the same name. Yeah, and and yeah, and, yeah. and uh, I never. So liked I didn't. The, really... I never liked the Guess Who either. They were a Canadian group. Oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was listening to Laughing the other day and a few other things, and, and I said to myself, you know, these guys are okay. Well, they're okay mm. because everybody else is dead. I don't. I don't know. You know. I. 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 I I, you say, you know, what have I, the question was, I guess, uh, is there any piece of music or music yeah. that in retrospect you didn't like when you first heard it and now you like it more? And yeah. I came up with that, I had an answer to that a couple of days ago, but I can't remember what my answer was. Huh. There was okay. something I said, you know, I really hated them when they were, you know, when, years ago. And yeah. I don't, I, I suddenly got to kind of like them. Yeah. You know? um, well, uh, were you uh, pro Beatles or pro Stones, or did you like both of them? I like both of them. Yeah. yeah, they each had their own place, okay, yeah. and their own importance uh, and their own styles, uh, obviously. Uh, yeah. But I like both of them. I think, yeah. uh, in in retrospect, when I look at them, uh, the Beatles were more pop music stars, you know, and the Beat and the Rolling Stones were uh, rock and rollers, pure rock yeah. and rollers, you know, so. All right. Uh, hey, you, you know, you used to talk about some pranks that you used to do with, uh, who's the magician um, uh, in Las Vegas? Penn? Uh, 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 pardon me, say again? Penn? Yeah. Gillette? Yeah. Uh, Penn Gillette. Uh, what were the best pranks done to you and what did you do to others and i also remember a prank you did at w i think it was at wmca where you had women in the dead of winter come down in bikinis to the radio station that was during my sexist period yes <laughs> yeah well that that was one of the stunts that uh, you know stood out but uh you're the you only know, one that remembers it yeah yeah well i'm i'm still alive <laughs> Yeah, that was a long time ago. But no, yeah. I, I, but, well, yeah, I, I did have women do that, and yeah, somebody well, did show up. Just somebody, or I, th I, I think thought one, there was oh, a lot of people. Only one, I think only really? one. I don't remember. I don't. It's so long ago. What are you asking me these questions for? I don't remember. Because that's what I'm doing. I don't remember yesterday for crying out loud. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, so what? What kind of what kind of pranks did you play on others, and what kind of pranks did you get played on you? Well, I never had any. I'm trying to think if anybody really pranked me that much. You yeah. know, um, one thing I did do was yeah. uh, I was doing a concert in Novato. Yeah. And uh, Bobby Slayton was the headliner. And uh, when it was time for Bobby to go on, he hadn't arrived yet. Uh huh. So I went on stage and I said to the audience. Um, Bobby Slayton is late getting here. And I think I said, I think we should make him suffer for it. I said, he's going to come out here, and he's going to have some really funny material. I know this is going to be very hard for you to do, but don't laugh. <laughs> That's what happened? He finally got there. He, I said, oh, he's finally here. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Slayton, he came out, and he started doing his act, and they were really good about it. Nobody laughed, right? I mean, yeah. they were tr sometimes having to stifle it by holding their hands over their mouths, but they did. And about five minutes in, Bobby realizes there's something terribly wrong. <laughs> yeah. And he says to me, he says to the audience, rather, I thought I was better than that. And they all laughed. And then he realized <laughs> that I had pranked him. But that, uh, that's, that's about the only time I ever pranked anybody, you know. Yeah? Yeah. No. I thought you used to prank Penn Gillette. No. 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 Or he did you? No. no. Uh, oh, no. you sent each other weird gifts. We sent each other weird gifts, yeah. 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 Uh, I, also, I got some, I got a nice gift ones from a Teller. Yeah. Uh, te I uh, had been communicating with Teller about this movie uh, called Greed. It was a silent film that was cut to pieces by uh, by MGM when they released it and they fired uh, Eric von Stroheim, who was the director. 
And the full movie has always been the kind of uh, holy grail of, uh, of, of film because they, everybody believes that somewhere somebody's got to have a full. The full version was uh, seven and a half hours. Did Shecky have it? No, 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 no. no. He didn't know anybody that had it. I don't think oh. anybody does have it. But anyway, um, and tell her one day I, sh- I get a book in the mail, and it's a book that was published in 1948 that he had, and he signed it to Alex. We both love this film, uh, tell her. And um, the book was a, the screenplay, the original screenplay of Greed. Wow. Uh, and it was the nicest thing I, uh, thing I think anybody has really, you know, done for me. I thought that was very nice. Well, I, I gave you a T-shirt once that said, I don't take no requests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see. What's the best job you, uh, you've had in your career? Oh, this one. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, talking to me. <laughs> I, I, I think the best one was uh, San Francisco. Uh, you know, I mean that that was a uh, uh, that that was a pretty amazing show. You know, yeah. I, I think that's what I I live, got into radio to do that kind of show, and the yeah. fact that I got to do the kind of show I always wanted to do with the studio audience and all of that uh, was uh, was the greatest moment of my career. Uh, I will have to say that some of the best shows I've ever done really were here in New York on Sirius XM. Uh, but only because I had one of the best producers I ever had, which was yeah. Albert Reynoso. But yeah. San Francisco, probably, that was the high point of my career. Been yeah. downhill you did, since then. You did have the best call screener, you, <laughs> me. No, that was over KML. That doesn't right. count. But you had a six share at KML. Yes. And, and that, was, that was pretty good. That, I mean, was, that was pretty phenomenal. You were number one. San Francisco. Oh, yeah. 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 Eighteen to thirty five. That yeah. that was great. Well I wasn't I was never number one because you always had KGO which did news talk in the morning. But the eighteen to thirty five they didn't have. No, they didn't have the eighteen to thirty five, yeah. but I had it. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Well, um you know, I, I was wondering you've got a lot of stuff in storage and, and you've collected a lot of things over the years. What's the one thing that you'd run into a bur- burning building to retrieve? Besides Marjorie, I was going to say, I was going to say Marjorie uh, because I know if she was listening to this and didn't hear me say Marjorie, you know, uh, what would I go in the retrieve? I don't. I really don't know. I mean, if this place burned down this here, would I go come back and retrieve anything here? While while the fire is raging. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I have that I want to save, which is or broadcast and so on. I think I actually have up on the cloud, stored on the cloud. So if the house yeah. place burned down, it would, they would still be around. Yeah. You know. So the, the, your broadcast memories are. Well, I'm going to be I'm going to be dead soon anyway. So you know, I mean, it could be 20 years from now. But I, you know, boy, how old would I be? 104. Yeah. Wow. 104. Um, well, you probably you'll probably live that long. Your mother was 100. Yeah, my mother was 100, but yeah. she didn't have leukemia. Okay. Anyway, um, Let, you know, let's uh, let's get to the next one. But on, uh, yeah, what's what one skill do you wish you developed that you don't have now that you would have liked? What what's what one skill? Yeah, what skill that uh, if you could have gone back in time and developed a skill that you would like to have now but you didn't have it? What would that skill be? Well, I think it was to would be to play a musical instrument. Yeah. 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 My father was a musician and I would have I would have been happy if I could be a musician, but I didn't have the uh, I I had musicality. I was very good musically. I mean, I could, Well, you can sing. I had I had a pitch yeah. and decent pitch and I I you know, but I was too lazy to learn the instruments. Yeah. yeah, even it, though, even though your father was a violinist. Yeah, you know. but I was just too lazy. I hated holding that violin under my chin. That's yeah. how lazy I was about it. <laughs> you know. That's why you wanted to broadcast. But uh, and I did play a little piano. Yeah. Taught myself taught piano. Yeah. But 
you know, that was not to me. I, what I did in life was what I was probably destined to do. You know, I have a life in show business like my father wanted for me, yeah. but it was a different kind. And he told me towards the end of his life, he said, you know, he said, you never played an instrument, but you play a turntable better than anybody I know. Yeah. Hey, so uh, when you were the poorest you'd ever been, um, what did you do? And when you were looking back at that time, what did you uh, think that was funny about that time? So, you know, you had no dough. You were in between jobs. There was nothing funny about it. No, you nothing. don't remember doing anything? Oh, I remember, you know, between jobs before I came to New York and, and I, you know, tried to keep getting jobs like, you know, I was over at uh, uh, CNET and things like that. But, you know, the career was going into the toilet. My best yeah. friend uh, who helped me start a television internet network uh, died. Uh, yeah. You know, it was a pretty bad time for me all the way around. But I well, came I out thinking... of I came out of it on the other side, and I I yeah. saved some money. Uh, I'm not wealthier. I will be once uh, the you know the inheritance <laughs> comes in. The inheritance comes in, but uh, I uh, well, you know I I. I uh, I guess right now I'm kind of in a way the poorest I've ever been, but I'm not spending more than I need, yeah. and uh, 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 you know, and I and I also have a lot of money saved. Yeah. So well, I, I just yeah. I remember uh, stories about how you used to have creative ways of getting mac and cheese. Uh, you know that you know when you were at oh when I was I was in the Navy and I lived in Hollywood and they gave me only a certain amount of money to live on. Yeah. Um, uh, I uh, became enamored of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Yeah. And I could make it better than anybody because what I would do is they had this, you know, they had this powder, you know, the powder. Yeah. And you the, the, the mix in. Yeah, you're supposed to mix the powder in, but if you yeah. just mix the powder in, it just got lumpy and it wasn't great. Okay. What I yeah. learned to do was I'd take a half a stick of butter and throw it in there, and yeah. let the butter melt, and then mix that with the butter. And man, was that great macaroni and cheese. And I lived on macaroni and cheese, I think, for two years while I was in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, those are, those are the things I, I remember uh, before uh, there was ATMs. Uh, it was the weekend, and I didn't have any money. Oh, listen, and I, I hated it when they didn't have ATMs because I got off at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. If I wanted to deposit my paycheck... I had to stay up till nine when yeah. the bank opened. And that was, you know, that was terrible because I wanted to go home and go to sleep, yeah. right? So this was in New York. And so when ATMs happened, man, that changed the whole game. You know, I could go deposit my money anytime I wanted to and, you know, whatever. So Yeah, well, I, I was... Uh looking for uh, coins in between the sofa cushions and uh, had enough to get uh, some, uh, some burrito at Doggy Diner. And, uh, you know, that made my weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, you know, I hear these actors, uh, especially English actors, with American accents. When you played James Bond, uh, did you use an English accent? Yes. And... Uh, this was so, what I did when I did two years on the radio as a British person. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of British actors that have really great American accents. And uh, who's the daughter on Yellowstone? Uh, Beth Dutton yeah. is the character. Yeah, she's British. She's British. Yeah. And uh, Idris Elba is British. Yeah. Uh, but he's the guy had that a played... British, she's always had a British accent for the most part in films. I mean, in, yeah. in certain movies, he uses an American accent, but for right. the most part, he's he's been known like as Luther and so on, British mm -hmm. British accent. And uh, there was uh, who was that? Doctor House uh, was that the uh, uh, Bri uh, 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 Laurie, you Laurie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Laurie. Most people were amazed when they heard his British accent. I knew of you Laurie before he was ever House. You know, yeah, when he was yeah. part of. I the, had no idea. Yeah, and. I, uh, He's yeah, a part yeah. of a team called Fry and Laurie, Stephen Fry. Yeah. And you, Laurie. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, so now, did you ever, you know, lose the British accent by mistake while you're, you know, you're no, sitting I, there I talking? I lost it on purpose. Oh, yeah. I slowly let it go. 
knowing that this couldn't last forever as a gig on a radio station. Yeah. And by the end, I had lost it completely. I wasn't doing it at all. And people would come up to me and go, you know, you're losing your British accent just a little bit. Because now, to, you, I was in Texas, and they all thought that any accent but theirs accent was, was British. British. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do a couple of a, a, a phrase? It. It's like I I have a block in not doing it. <laughs> you know, it, I, it was a very I casual see. British accent. It wasn't a thick one. I didn't yeah. overdo it. You know, because then I would be found out. But if I if I uh, you know. In fact, we had a, a real British guy up in uh, up in Dallas doing the same thing, being James Bond, and he got uh, challenged many times and, and accused many times of really not being British. But nobody ever accused me of not being British. Mm-hmm. And I had to be British all the time, even when I was off the air. That was my deal with the radio station. Really? They didn't want anybody to know I wasn't British. So the you, only time you know, I wasn't British was when I went home. Well, that's something, you know, when you travel and you're you're, you're going to be going to Europe pretty soon. Mm-hmm. And uh, I find that, for instance, the British accent is so um, strong in Britain that well, that's start, where they that's where they speak it. I know you start picking it up, you know. Oh, oh you no. Know, when I was in Texas, a good example was when I was in Texas, I picked up a, a slight Texas accent. Yeah. Uh, after the fact, after James Bond. And one of the reasons why, and, and my wife, Ronnie, actually got a very strong Texas accent, thick yeah. te- Texas accent, that she had to come to New York to lose. Wow. You know? but, but be, did you get the uh, southern accent in Texas because she didn't want to get beat up? Or? No, because it is one of the easiest things to do. It is just so casual and so laid back and relaxed that you fall into yeah. it. You know. Wow. Well, I mean, y'all, uh, y'all is a much you know, more better word than all, everybody. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's, it's friendly. It's friendly. Folksy. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, you know, it's it's almost time to go to your panel. But um, have you? Did you ever have a like a hype man uh, that would uh, nod at everything you said? So, for instance, I, what do you I was mean, uh, a yes man is the term. Yeah, yes man. Uh, you know, these rappers now have yes men, yeah. but they they don't they don't say. I, I, I didn't like anybody that said it was a yes man. I, I yeah. just didn't want them around me. Well, I felt you know, that it didn't give me any sense of reality. No, it, yeah. it it doesn't. But now the rappers have these guys that just wag their head mm-hmm. and go, "You the man." So, say something. And I'll be your yes man for for a phrase or two. No, you don't. No, forget that. Let's not. Well, you that. go. Hey, you know, we're going to go to the panel. You the man. Well, <laughs> Phil Meyer's a real asshole. You the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, listen, we only have one person waiting, so um, I'm not going to bring her on yet. Although I could. Well, you the man. <laughs> I could bring him on, but let, uh, we won't until we see more right. people showing up. Uh, by the way, uh, there's somebody else just showed up, Jeffrey Stein. All these, uh, 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 what, uh, what do you, th- now, let's, has more information come out about Gaza, the food distribution, and uh, the riots and the shootings? Well, they weren't riots. Um, well, the, the they, people you know, what went on today, What trucks, went on today, I, I think, is probably Israel's, uh, what do we call it? Uh, last piece of goodwill has just gone out the window. Uh, I, I I'm so fed up with Israel about all of this. It's ridiculous. And if you don't, if you're not, don't find it ridiculous. Remember, yes, it was terrible. Twelve hundred people were either kidnapped or killed by uh, Hamas uh, on what was it? October sixth was seventh, seventh, uh, sixth or seventh. Yeah. And th- that's horrible. It's terrible. But to the, in, in response, to have 30,000 people in Gaza dead, 1,000 of which are children. You know, now, is, why, why aren't you angry at the people that are using those, uh, those innocent women, children, and citizens, uh, Palestinians, as human shields. Why? Why? Well, where is the outrage? First, first of all, at that? There, there is no evidence that they're being used to any 
decent extent or um, well, decent you amount. know, they 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 built their tunnels and 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 stashes under hospitals, um, uh, under apartment. You know buildings. what you're doing is you're 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 trying to excuse what Israel did. No, and what Israel I'm not excusing did, it. I'm, what Israel I'm, did is pure. It's a holocaust that they caused in Gaza. Okay, uh, you know. Oh, uh, I, wait a minute. I'm I, I'm thirty thousand uh, Palestinians, Gazans, dead. Yeah, are come on, are being held hostage by no, the Hamas. No, 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 no. They're not being held hostage by Hamas. You know. Well, they to, they it, wouldn't have been. They wouldn't have had a route them route out Hamas and and. Uh, uh, you know something? You know, For all they say, they were out to route out Hamas. They really haven't. Well, there's been a number of leaders, but what happened well, was you, when the Israelis, you, when the uh, possibly, look, how do you possibly excuse the killing of thirty thousand? Look, 000 when the people, IDF how do you told people to go it? south, all right, uh -huh. uh, Hamas told them that he, they'd kill them if they did. No, they went south because they wanted they to went, hide behind them. They went them. south. In fact, they named a city in the south. They said, "Go down there." And everybody went down there, and then the Israelis bombed it. Uh, you know, uh, there's Just don't there's, try to excuse in war, that, Phil. Don't try to excuse that, Phil. In, in war, I, there's you know atrocities. what makes me feel terrible about all of this. Yeah, is that what? Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Netanyahu. Netanyahu has, got, uh, has done more to create anti-Semitism in this world than any single human being could do. No, this it's, is it's being that, done. It's, this is being done in in the name of of Jews of which I am a member of that race and I don't like that to be on my conscience okay well, it's it's it, it, all and they've been fighting everyone who wants to go from the river to the sea what they want to do is annihilate uh, the Jews and the Israelis and uh, it's just not going to happen and that's and that's what they're fighting Look, and I'm they're, not, and I'm they're not fighting gonna, people I'm not going to go into the full history of this but I got to tell you I mean, what's going on now is what we have to live with. And if I were um, our president, Biden, after what went on today, this should be the last straw. He should say, you get no more money from us till you stop this, till you well, stop it. And, and, uh, and Biden as funding Ukraine, I think that they're just looking to you sell weapons. You know something? Yeah. Ukraine needs to be defended. And I'll tell you why. Because if we don't defend it, Russia is going to take over that part of the world, and it's only a matter of time before we're in an all-out war with them, okay? Yeah, that's what if they we said don't, in Vietnam. If we, don't, if we don't stop them there, uh, and we don't help the Ukrainians, it's more important for us to help the Ukrainians than what's going on at the border. Yeah, what's going on at the border is a mess, okay? But it doesn't have the, the uh, consequences that not taking care of Ukraine has. Our border consequences will yeah, eventually no, it, it, catch up with us. It has, it has. You know, little, you know how many people die from it, fentanyl it, every it, day. It has. They are not. This, these these families are not bringing in fentanyl, Phil. The fentanyl is coming in. Wait a minute. The fentanyl is coming in through ports of call, okay, and not across the Rio they're, Grande. They're coming in on backpacks, uh, and in, do you really in cars. believe that shit? Do you really yeah, believe I do. that? You really, yeah, I do. Logically, if I also, you were a drug I also, dealer, if you were a drug dealer, Phil, yeah, would you rather put this thing on boats and ship it into Los Angeles Harbor, or would you rather put it in people's backpacks coming across well, the Rio Grande where they'll get it all wet? It 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 they pack it, but when Phil, they when they bring it over, you're believing the Trump lies about no, this I'm whole believing, situation. I'm believing what they're taking off of these people when they do catch them, uh, and uh, yeah, the how cartels. Much okay, then give me a, a, a give me an, a, an idea of how much fentanyl has been caught. Uh, I don't know. No, you just you but, just hear the rumor that oh that's what's happening. Well, no, or they well, bring I, fentanyl. You know, I don't get the uh, the liberal talking points either. I you know I wonder where uh, the news agency and all the liberals get. Their uh, talking points. It's like they're in unison every day against or out, their outrage, no, they're, they're, moral they're, outrage. They're, they're, no, what, what, you know, let me just bring these people in here because you're just sitting out there 
and we'll, right. we'll continue in a second here. All right. Uh, uh, let me just bring them in so they can. Uh, uh, there's uh, there is uh, John Ewing and uh, uh, there is that the is, guy that uh, looks like me. There's Brian. Yeah, that's the guy that looks like you. <laughs> uh, uh, you got a doppelganger. Uh, I will try to not mix the two of you up. Okay. Uh, well, well, we're we're waiting for him to come in here, but uh, yeah. he isn't here yet. So um, we don't know. Are you are you there, John? No, he hasn't got his microphone on either. You know, right. uh, I I heard your show last night. You need to have a primer on how to get on GabNet. Well, there's you no know, some there's sort no, of test. It, it, well, there, I there. went to I went to college this morning, and now I'm back in order. See, ah, there he is. The College of Knowledge. There, there he is. That, <laughs> that's the other... Uh, uh, yeah. Bill. He, he Bill looks too. like me. The other Phil Meyer. Yeah. Yeah. The other Phil Meyer. Bill anyway. looks so much younger than I did. Anyway, let well, me... Let me... Ah, 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 yeah, but we're, we're both pretty don't, handsome. Don't kick his ass, isn't he? Look, look how handsome not... we are. <laughs> anyway, uh, get, getting back to it, I mean, you know, this whole thing about what's going on at our border is a false flag. Okay, it's a problem. It's very definitely a problem, and but yet there was a. I saw a, a politician today from Texas who was on who said actually what they don't mention is is that if we didn't have these illegal immigrants, we wouldn't have a restaurant business in Texas. We wouldn't have a hotel business in Texas. You know, no, they wouldn't have cheap labor in Texas. Well, but that's what they, but the, but you'd the still point I'm the restaurant. point I'm making. The point I'm making yeah. is. Majority of these people are just people who, who ran out of, from their countries because the life is so terrible down there, and you know, and they want a better life for their for their children and their families. And most of these people are families; they are not fentanyl carriers. But these people are being abused as well. Not only on the on the journey up, you know, the women are being raped. Uh, uh, and why are is being it? Killed. You know, why is it? Everything has to do. I mean, granted, that does happen. But you, 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 everybody brings it down to rape and drugs and everything else. When that's a very because minor that's part, part of the problem. A very, no, it's a very minor part of the problem. Uh, you think it's minor? It's how many very millions minor of people? Part of the film. How many since Biden took office? How many millions of people have come over the border? How many millions were coming across when Trump was in charge? Very few. Oh, no, it wasn't very, very few. few. The border was. Uh, are you kidding me? Are you yeah. kidding and, me? And Bill, you know, Phil, did you see? Did you see that picture they have? Uh, of your buddy's your buddy's wall, it comes up to the rocks, and then there's like this much of a gap, it's and the rocks not, are there. It's yeah. not the wall that stops them. It's the idea of the wall. You, of course, they can get over it. They can get <laughs> under it. But you know, uh, what you need is uh, oh, I just got a uh, fact check. Uh, oh, uh, my very good friend is checking how much fentanyl is coming into the United States. He doesn't know. Nobody knows, oh. Bill. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm sure a she and, will. And the, and the fentanyl is coming with those hornets. Remember those deadly hornets that were coming? I and then uh, uh, also right, those Brian. big, yeah, the, the, those oh. gangs. Remember those that big gang that was walking from uh, El Salvador or something like that that's supposed to be here any day now? You know, How many years ago was that, Phil? Wait a minute here, Brian. PolitiFact. Uh, uh, checking, is fentanyl coming into the U.S.? And it says, mostly true. Wait a minute. So, is fentanyl ow. coming into the United States? Yes, it is. Obviously, there's fentanyl here. It is coming yeah. mostly from China, believe it or yes. not. And yes. it is coming the, in the through, ingredients. And it is coming through ports of call. Right. Okay. You know how many Chinese and and uh, Nigerians are coming through the southern border? Yes. Illegally? Some, uh, not not as many as you oh, would like to think. The, what do you think? You know, how about a million? The, you want to try a million? No, uh, I'll try maybe uh, you know three hundred here and two hundred there. Oh, okay. Uh, That's uh, and so and how many people do you say have crossed that border in the eight million? Eight million. So you three hundred here, three hundred there. That's not as guy doesn't right. exactly but come how up many to eight million. Did it, how many people did it take to do a nine eleven? What was there about twenty terrorists? Oh God, you're trying to compare yeah. apples and, 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 and you know so, sometimes I miss Phil, and then like it takes like five minutes with before them, you don't miss them any miss longer. Them yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll give you guys. A I break. should have called later, like at, at eight, eight we, we should do the la we should do the last half hour of the show <laughs> with him. <laughs>
<laughs> then we can all just leave when we want to. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you know, uh, Brian's bringing all of that fentanyl across the border. But, He's going know, the I, mean, the I, I just think that, uh, you know, I mean, uh, to begin with, uh, when Trump, uh, Trump didn't do a lot to stop it, believe it or not. Uh, he didn't have as many coming. He didn't coming. have to. He, he had the border secure. <laughs> oh, 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 that was there. There, there were where? hundreds. Where, Phil? Where, Phil? Where, 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 Phil? Where, Phil? It, the southern border. He, there, there was, was maybe the southern border. How, that's a very long border. Is there a northern border? Yeah, and they Who don't want the us from there either. Uh, Canada but the, built the northern border, so we don't yeah, go in there. Canada doesn't <laughs> want us, and... Uh, Phil, yeah. they showed they showed sixty minutes. They kept showing parts of that wall that was like all wet, and the things were falling over. Come on, yeah, because uh, well, it was because Biden wasn't even in office because that's the way because, that's the way, because that's the way Trump builds yes, things. Yes, but Trump went in and he built Trump over five hundred miles uh, yeah. of, of wall. Yeah, how many? And how he, many? He built how many? Five hundred miles. Five hundred and thirteen. Where did you hear that, Phil? Well, it's it's uh, it, it was, it was Phil, the truth of the matter is he only <laughs> built he Lamar. only built under his watch about six miles uh, okay. yes well yes. it's time to look that up look it how up many... look it up uh, 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 uh alan you're our you're our, our uh, you're our look up guy person. how okay. many feet away okay. i don't know I'm if i can look trust it up. Alan. you know by the way phil gets all his news from mars yeah, yeah, TikTok. yeah. Trump, well, Trump has a news station there. Alan, get on the computer. How many I'm feet on of, the computer. How many miles of wall were built by Donald Trump? Okay, go, go to the next work, question. I'll come Trump. back. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Oh. I was in Stop and Shop today, Alex, and me and my brother were shopping for fish, and it was a crazy lady filled by the deli saying... She was nuts. She goes, when Trump wins, I'm coming in with my Trump cake and we can all have a slice. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, get ready and with a fork. the guy in the deli is here by himself. I'm like, I'll take a piece of that. I'm like, oh. Yeah, hey, uh, you know, Tony, just bring your fork. Uh, <laughs> I might have to try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. I was like, oh, my God, uh, there's a loose uh, one here. <laughs> I, I, I wish it were that easy for him to win. But, well, we could talk about that another time. Yeah. Uh, but, so how many feet of how many miles of wall there? Uh, Did he, well, I'm I'm reading the U.S. Border Patrol's uh, website. Hold on, just okay. A yeah. Um, 170 were wanted, and about 50 got actually built. I don't see where you. See well, that's that. according I mean, to the Border Patrol. You asked me to look it up. You didn't. Yeah. Didn't well, what'd you do? Up, look you it, look up it up on MSNBC Border no, Patrol. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I looked it up on the U.S. Border Patrol's website. All right. Now, and now I'm. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Are you getting this? Phil is not believing the Border Patrol, who, by the way, has works a lot for the of Biden them are, administration. Uh, huh. I'm, uh, works for the Biden administration. No, uh, most of jobs? most of them have been speaking mm -hmm. on behalf of Trump. Oh yeah, you know things were. Yeah, Holman, you know that the head of the Border Patrol and 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 said they they liked that Biden thanked them today, and Trump yeah. didn't bother to even acknowledge that they were there today. Ah, uh, yeah, bullshit. What do you mean? Trump bullshit? is always acknowledging. No, people. he That's didn't. What he does? No, he didn't. Oh, yeah, how many miles of border wall? You see, he's gonna uh, he's gonna go to Fox to try and find that. No, nah, I'm going to Google. We're built. So far, uh, we got under... 50 miles. That was that was the the that 70, was 70. 70. That was the uh, yeah. And it, by the way, and just Texas alone is 500 miles. Okay, <laughs> U.S. Mexico border barriers now total 741 <laughs> miles. And this is a U.S. government GAO accountability uh, as yeah. of How September many were 7th. built under Trump? Uh, well, uh, I'll, I asked that. Under Donald Trump, border wall. Uh, here we go. Uh, U.S. News and World Report. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check this. Um, we spend the whole... Oh, it's funny. We... They're talking on the Border Patrol's website. They're talking about... How uh, okay. he screwed up, uh, before, screwed up the economy. Uh, uh, it the, says uh, here, U.S. News, bef uh, uh, before Biden stopped new construction on the wall, the Trump administration had built 458 miles of what is dubbed the border wall system. Uh, these figures were uh, compiled by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection uh, and provided to U.S. News. So this is U.S. News and World Reports, and they're saying 458 miles. Uh, uh -huh. 
you know, and you want uh, me to send you a link to the U.S. Border Patrol website? No, no, because yours uh, it goes through uh, the MS. Uh, you know, no, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. No, it, 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 it is. It is. U.S. Border Patrol dot gov. Phil, look it up. Border well, Patrol dot gov. Phil, so while well, you're doing from... that, let us enjoy the show. Yeah, this is from the government. Uh, <laughs> this is from the government agency. Wait a minute. What are you? Well, what, you know, I'm. Uh, what are you? So, what are you showing us, Brian? Uh, he's he's showing us the wall. Brian, you're muted. An invisible wall, like the dog, invisible gate. <laughs> they get buzzed when they but go that's into. The, it. That's the Great Wall of China, Brian. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, 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 you're yeah, still yeah. muted, Brian. What did Gorbachev say, Alex? Again with Reagan, remember? Gorbachev tear down that wall. Right on, Brian. As long as you're muted, as we as can't you're hear muted. you. We can't hear you, Brian. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's from your report that you're reading on how much Trump wall was built from the U.S. news blah, blah, blah report. And it's a picture of the wall, and there's a huge gap, and there's a family who's walking right through. Of course. They weren't allowed to finish it. There's <laughs> millions wait a minute, of wait a minute, wait a minute. Phil, Phil, have you seen the gap? Yeah. It's not like miles. It's this, this much of a gap, okay? Yeah. No wider than this. The gap sells jeans, but... Yeah. Uh, yes, you know, there's plenty of gaps. And have you seen all of the wall material that is rusting on the ground that Biden uh, stopped and had, and paid for and didn't? No, I didn't take see it. Where of? did you see it? Yeah, where I, saw it on the, I saw it on the news. Which, I saw which news? Which news? I saw it on a lot how of How many things. miles of uh, fences laying on the ground? Uh, I don't know how many miles, but there's millions oh, of dollars worth of fence. That that report, they have some good pictures. Okay, of let me ask recently you this: recently built and pre-existing barriers. Uh, uh, we were guaranteed that Mexico was going to pay for the wall. How no, much have no, they? How much have they, they been asked the to pay? They did in their own way because under Trump, Mexico sent troops to the border, <laughs> and they paid for those troops. And they also did the remain in Phil, Mexico. Phil, I'm at, he said, "quote and I quote, I'm going to I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to make Mexico pay, pay for it, and Mexico will pay for it. Mexico pay for it. The wall, right. well, not troops, a more not troops, not any other little <laughs> the wall spinning were, of the that truth. Mexico's going to pay for is the one around the prison. Yeah, well, Trump's look, be in. you know, how many promises has Biden made, or how many promises did Obama make that? Uh, didn't come to fruition. Uh, none that I know of. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you're not looking. It. Name one. <laughs> well, uh, as far as Biden... No, uh, I'm not he, Biden. I'm talking about Obama. Uh, uh, Obama? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a while ago, but I, I asked how many had he made. Uh, Obama said that he was going to have a good economy. Our economy only grew the at about 1% a year under Obama. The economy was pretty good. And actually, if, if you, <laughs> if you, you, don't like, you don't like a growth, that kind of growth? 1%? Oh, no. Is that think, terrible? What is the current growth? What is enough. the current growth? Isn't it something much higher than that? I think we're in recession. No, no we're not. No. No? Uh-uh. Yeah. Well... And and jobs. Now, Biden, and now Obama. And Obama to to uh, let me tell you, Obama yeah. uh, uh, said that he would give us shovel-ready jobs. Uh, you know, the unemployment was pretty high under Obama. Where were all the shovel-ready jobs that Obama had promised? Where is all the infrastructure that he had promised? It, it didn't. It didn't happen. Oh, so that, that's just one example of of Obama's promises that weren't made. And there's uh, plenty yeah. of promises that weren't made. Uh, didn't Obama I mean, I, said go, say, go, go no, look I at the statistics, Phil? I, I wasn't oh, wait, no, for Brian, it. Brian, Brian, what? So, Phil, did you see that Trump has these shoes for like four hundred and fifty dollars? Yes, and you got two. Pairs? I guess the Biden administration's <laughs> economy is doing pretty good if his yeah, people can afford those. Yeah, you know they buy anything that says Trump on it. But uh, do you remember uh, Guantanamo? Uh, that uh, Obama says he was going to close it on day one. Did he? No, we've never. Now I, I wasn't for the closure of Guantanamo Bay, but uh, this is a promise that Obama made and and didn't keep. Well, there uh, was a, there was a reason. I'm trying to remember. There, there, at the, they decided that it was not a good idea because it was wasn't the, a hospital enough though. because he would have had to give due process to the people that were being held there. No, actually, he was giving due health care. Did you see the health care they were getting? 
Yeah, yep. that's great. It was like, I want to be arrested. <laughs> I want yeah. to be arrested. Yeah, and sent to Guantanamo. Work on my yeah. prostate and let me out. <laughs> oh, so Obama gave him three hots in a cot. And, see, here's, uh, here's what I never got. Who okay. said Trump threw him a roll of paper towel? <laughs> they, that they, they, all, yeah, like they, they, they all have that, <laughs> they they all that had, had that medical care, okay, in Guantanamo. Yeah. And yet they were waterboarding them when they yeah. most likely could have said... Uh, we're going to give you a colonoscopy, but we're not putting you out. <laughs> Imagine that. They, I don't, oh, God, that'd be terrible. Right? No, but not, the, not the deadly colonoscopy, you know. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, just the thing in the biopsy, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Yeah, right. Oh, what biopsy? I cried like a baby. They don't do a room. biopsy during a colonoscopy. No, I know, but I wonder what's worse. It can't be any, ouch, you think it's worse? The colonoscopy than the biopsy? Well, they're putting, they're, feel it. they're basically putting a, uh, uh, an eel up your ass. They have conscious sedation, you know? Tony. Oh, Lord, that sucked. Uh, I cried for my mother in the room. <laughs> they'll use a flashlight on you. <laughs> but they'll have to tie it to the, the wall. It'll fall in. That was horrible. Yeah. yeah. But so it, it looks like there's yes. all sorts of conflicts, uh, conflicts of, uh, of uh, what uh, amount of wall was built, when it was built. Sure. Uh, I think Obama now, was a decent president, actually, Phil, because he took over for Bush, and Bush was a debacle for eight years. No. He didn't even get a Bin Laden in eight years. He got him well, in two. Well, we know we know that Bush uh, is not the it was not now was not the kind of president that we should have had. We, he got us into wars that Obama continued and also escalated. We, Obama went into Afghanistan, where uh, uh, with Bush, he took us into uh, Iraq. And, uh, you know, and we spent billions and uh, trillions of dollars uh, that could have better been served in this country mm -hmm. and didn't make a hill of beans difference. And when, and when, uh, Biden exited Afghanistan, he did it in the worst possible way. Instead of using the air base, uh, was it Bagram Air Base, uh, as a, uh, a secure place to evacuate people, he did it through the public airport. Did you see the people hanging from the airplanes? Now falling the off wait, 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 how do you do it through Bagram Air Base? That's in Germany. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, what's the air base they in have a Afghanistan? Long Long no, no. fence, what, yeah. No, what's the what's the what's the uh, air base? The airport. You guys, it, come on. What, there's one air, base? there's one military air base in in uh, Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, yeah. It's a big one. I, yeah, that's the one they took off from. No, they they took off from the uh, from the regular airport. No, they didn't. They, yeah, they, because they left all of the tanks and helicopters. What did they leave behind? Things, Billions of dollars worth yeah. of tanks, You're helicopters. Welcome. Yeah, okay, and 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 uh, uh, military uh, weapons, ammunition. I, they, I'm sorry. Uh, what's more important, getting Americans out or leaving some well, trash behind? Well, it's strategically if they use the uh, military air base. Okay, let me ask you a question, safely, Phil. Safely. Between between 2002 and the end of 2023. Yeah. How much did the economy grow under Biden? Or um, or or not grow under Biden? Well, uh, you mean 2002, but it was 2008 that he got 2002 in. 2002 to 2003. This is just recently. Okay. Okay. Well, 2002, 2003, 2020 to 2020. There, yeah. 2020 to 2023. Right. 2022 yeah. to 2000 end of, end of 2023. Well, uh, it, probably the only thing that's grown is the bubble that's going to burst in the Wait near a minute. Future. What do you, how much do you think the economy grew or lost? Well, if you judge it by the Dow Industrials, I would guess that's probably 25%. It grew? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, and, no. And that's a recession to you? No, well, we've had a number of it's a I tell you it's a recession to me because he doesn't uh, have stocks. Yeah, really. But, you know, I, and the stocks are near 40,000 at the on the Dow. This is just waiting to have another uh, a bubble to implode. Do you uh, think that this uh, can, uh, can I'm not I, since you don't buy stocks and you apparently uh -huh. 
I, I'm not going to. Can you explain to us to how the Dow got forty thousand? What the, what does that mean? Well, because no, the Dow people, is the Dow actually hit thirty nine thousand. I, I, I know I know about it because I have a big investment stock. Well, I just want to explain it to us. Do you think that there's a lot of money coming in from China right now because of the uh, uh, the lack of stability and uh, and the issues that are going on, and that they're probably. investing any any way they can in this and uh, country, and they're driving up prices? Isn't that I, what's I, happening? I think there were more Chinese companies coming in when Trump was in power. No, you know. Uh, what happened was, well, all the companies in America were moving to China because China was uh, well, that's uh, right. che Tesla had cheap labor, China. and that's that's the same thing that's happening. Well, I, I can't believe I can't believe all this misinformation. Well, look, coming out you of you think it's misinformation it's because you don't want to. All I'm like saying, it. Phil, Phil, the economy, yeah. uh, a lot of the uh, uh, factors in our economy are better than they have been. Unemployment is down. Employment yeah, because nobody it, has jobs, up, and, and their up. unemployment ran out. You know, uh, people stopped looking. People don't want to be employed. They're getting enough. Uh, but employment is up, Phil. It, it's not up. It's, oh, it's in, not in, up? In, no, <laughs> uh, because people have fallen off the rolls. No, they, no, what no, they, no, no, no. What they gauge but, is unemployment. Mm -hmm. And unemployment may be down, but people aren't working and those that are 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 being uh, uh plagued by inflation uh their uh, salaries have not gone up uh with the rate of inflation so they're actually at a at a negative but let me tell you about the southern border and i'll finish now oh boy alan here we said, go again okay come on okay no, alan no. said <laughs> uh that the, and I, I don't want to take this show over. I want you guys to talk too. So, oh, but thank Alan, you. Alan said that's very that nice of China, you. Know. Yeah, okay, the economy but, under Biden thing. is up 22 percent, according to Fox News. Well, what did I say? I said 25. Yeah, but, yeah, well, but so, that's up. Oh, that's okay. Not, that's not. Yeah, a but that's, it's it's. It's the statistics that they're the, using. The down economy twisted. that Biden inherited came from Trump. You realize. No, oh, it came from COVID, and it came from China. Oh, no. You know, it, if, it, if you shut the country down, it was supposed to be two weeks to stem you, the curve. Uh, stem the curve. Biden, you're telling me. I kept it <laughs> shut down for two years. Now, uh, what what's happening is uh, you, you, the reason that businesses went to China was because of cheap labor. The reason right. that people... That that the Democrats are are welcoming cheap labor into uh, the southern border is so that uh, they could take advantage of it. But all it's doing is it's uh, it's causing Americans not to make a living wage because they can get somebody to do it cheaper. And you know, if you want people to be able Phil, to own Phil, a home, Phil, you want people to be able to have We have more jobs available, and there are people to fill them. Uh, you know, there. The economy, because Phil, the you reason, keep trying. The you keep, that that, you keep the making happened, up. You keep making up statistics. No, the reason you keep making well, up I'm, excuses. I'm in the front lines. Let's let's I, get I down. Let's get down to basics. How the fuck? Phil, can I you just be, hired a thousand people the last two years. How what are you talking fuck, about? Oh, how the fuck, you fuck can you be for a guy who's yeah. a fucking criminal? Look, he's not a criminal yet. <laughs> uh, and he's got he's got the right. Well, to you know something. Yeah. I got I got news for you. What I'm going to watch have, out for a guy before he's got his hand yeah, in my let pocket. Me tell you okay. Something. What what you guys are doing to Trump is criminal by trying to break and and defeat your opponent using uh, the FBI and the Department of Justice. This is nothing different than what you'd see in Cambodia under the Khmer Rouge. <laughs> Except they could <laughs> shoot him. Jesus Christ. No, no. I'm surprised you could say that. You must have uh, 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 John, up, up uh, your Ritalin uh, today. Did John, you John, your John was going, oh, no. What, John? John looks like Phil. Well, what I learned today, you know who James Carville is? Yes. 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 Remember him? Mm -hmm. yeah. He said today, realistically, that there's no silver bullet to take down Trump. But the only good thing to do for Democrats is to keep the war chest in, engrossed in cash to take on the uh, uh, public relations to defeat Trump. But any illusion 
he spoke so strongly about this that the Supreme Court, everybody should just put that in the back seat. It's too, frankly, a little corrupt. And uh, that was his uh, well, assessment, I, which I yeah, respect a little bit. I'll tell you, I think the thing that's taking down Trump isn't the, any of the other cases. Uh, although I, I think the one in Georgia will still stand and will still run and is one of the toughest ones that Trump has to fight. He may squeak out of the other three, although I doubt if he's going to squeak out of all three of them. But the point, in fact, is that uh, Donald Trump, the worst thing that's happened to him is the f past trial, this current trial in New York City, where he has to come up with $453 million dollars. I think that is going to bankrupt Donald Trump. It already and that's has. that's what the Democrats want to do to him. Oh. Do you think that, uh, uh, that a fine hey, or hey, judgment... He, he brought it on himself. He but cheated the people of New this. York State. Is, isn't he cheated the people so, of New York listen, State, Alex, Phil? Isn't justice he, supposed maybe. to be blind? Why are they looking at Donald Trump Why? and saying hey, listen, 400 for, million? Trump, they hold never, on a second. Hold on a second. They would never hold do on that a to anyone else. How much bail... Has Trump had to pay in the Mar-a-Lago situation? The same amount that most oh, hold people on. pay. No, no. He didn't pay not, any bail at all. Not, you know, wait a minute. Think let me finish. How about how about in in the in the Washington in the uh, Washington D.C. case? Let me how much you. bail has he had to post? I'll tell you how much. How much? He's not a flight risk. It, you no. you give bail no, when no, someone's a flight no, risk. No, he but will it, appear. But, well, how, how much? If, how if, much? If to, how much? He, he, the same amount. The same Phil, amount you're not that answering the question. How much? How much is the smashing, quantity? Okay. Not a statement. Zero, because it's the same okay. amount. How much that would they, they charge you, Phil? Probably this zero as well. No, they wouldn't. No matter whether I'm you're a flight, a flight risk. risk. I don't care if you're not a flight risk. Yeah, you, you're a flight risk. Look, there's John. Looks like you. They could think that's you. <laughs> I'll blame John. <laughs> now you know the thing is. Uh, there's cashless bail now. Why do you have all the crime that you have? Because nobody's getting, uh, there's zero bail. It's cashless bail. You just sign a promise to appear. And uh, they, they, this is well, bail, the bail way for that years. the Democrats yeah. have set it up. But the bail, the, 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 hey, the, charge, the, money, the, ma the money charges against Trump in New York State right now, the $453 million, is yeah. not bail. It is, in fact, it's a judgment. What, it's a judgment, and it's what right. the state of New York is allowed to re receive as a result of him cheating on taxes, misrepresenting his wealth, and a lot of other things that he did that were proved in a court of law. Yes, but you know, was the was that four hundred million dollars worth? Yes, I don't think so. Uh, 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 I think uh, that he's being persecuted oh God. by yeah, right, uh, by right. New York. Because they're looking to put chinks in his armor, and he's they a want regular, to, they he's want a regular to hurt him. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Uh, Tony. But this is what this is why, Get the rosary uh, why it's dangerous. What what Trump did, and I explain why I how I see it. He inflated his prices of what his property was worth. So let's say they were really he really the loan should have been say for fifty million, and somebody gives me two hundred million, Phil. That's a white collar crime because now I'm getting four times what I should be getting, you know, and I'm when, making a hell of a lot more money with my investments if I know what I'm doing with it. Look, uh, Tony, when you he, know what I'm saying it's like he's stealing those properties could have very well been worth that. Now, if he claims that it was worth that, the bank has to do its due diligence. See, I, well, you that's know, another the bank thing. Did not lose one penny. Well, you know uh, what I think. He, he paid every penny that he borrowed. But the there people... Has, the there people, has to be a bigger story, Alex, because I think the bank is in on this, in this whole fiasco with him. He had to have an insider guy there look, to okay and, these loans. And you, yeah. you, Alex, the other day you were complaining about the square footage of Trump's, uh, uh, Trump Tower and his Well, he says, it, he says it's, what, 300 square feet? And uh, it's... Yeah, what he no, his, he, he you said... Uh, 300,000 300, square, or something. square feet, and uh, it's only something like 30,000 square feet. Right, but he owns the building, and he also owns all the common areas. No, no, they were talking about his apartment, the thing, well, place he where he lives, is where he resides in Trump Tower. Yes, he said he was three hundred square floors. feet, and it wasn't three hundred square feet. He also he also said 
that because he, he wanted to be taller than a lot of other buildings, that his building was taller than it actually was. He took about three floors out of the building that don't exist. The elevators don't well, stop. Well, you know, there, there, well, there's no 13th floor in a no, lot no, of buildings. No, that, that, that's, that, that's a given in a lot of buildings just out of uh, superstition. This wasn't superstition. Well, this well, was him well, lying about the height of his building. Hey, all of that stuff is 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 documented. Uh, you know whether that's the height of the building, the square footage. That's you know there are permits that are pulled okay, to, to do these Mar -a things. Mar a Lago was listed at he, he said like, it was no, worth a billion and a half dollars, and okay. uh, and the county which uses that to assess yeah. taxes and so on. No, they don't. Assessment of taxes the, his, and the, what the, you can sell assessed, it for is two they, different things. They assessed the property. Okay, for whatever reason, at a hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, I was going to say, what could be worth a billion dollars? Then that's flawed. Come on. Yeah, he lives in a dream world. It's just a golf course. He, well, he like, feels that the Hold Trump me. name is worth something. Oh, ain't that okay. It it well, that's another thing. It ain't, it ain't worth shit. Yeah. I want to borrow money. It was. I want to borrow money from the. It was okay. Let Brian wanna, talk. If I want to borrow money from the bank and they come and do like a HELOC or something, and they come and do, if they say my house is five million dollars. I'm going to get more money to borrow, right? Right, but they're well, the ones... Well, then that's what he did, right? No, no why call it up, he doesn't set it. He could claim it's worth $10 billion, but he if the bank it. looks at uh, at uh, comps and they look at uh, you know other properties that have sold based on the square footage that's Phil, listed... Okay, forget about... You can argue this all you on want. On the tax rolls. The, you can argue this all you want to. The fact of the yeah, matter yeah. is... He was found guilty in a court of law. He has been fined $453 million, and it's going up every day because of the interest. Yeah, the guy puts it on his Twitter. Let, yeah. let, let, me, let, me finish, let me finish what I'm saying, Phil. Sure. You can yell and scream all this, oh, it was unfair to him, whatever, but the fact is he lost, and you he's going to have to come it. up with this money. And if he doesn't come up with it, he's going to lose his buildings. Is he, well, he's, his buildings are worth a lot more than that. No, he can sell he, a couple he, of his he, units. He, no, he will. Uh, Trump Tower, according to uh, the all the uh, all the what do you call it? The, You're quoting the tax roll. Tax I'm, roll I'm talking and, about the, the the state of New York has gone yeah. in and appraised Trump Tower at 150 million dollars. Well, maybe today, because you, you, in New York, it's it's like a graveyard. Oh, Jesus. Phil, it's not a graveyard in New York. <laughs> you're, thinking, you're thinking of, you, you, you're thinking of see, Union Square in San Francisco. Yeah, I, exactly. That's no, a graveyard, that. too. You look at Union Square or you look at Manhattan, there's a guy that goes around with a video camera. And what he does is he videos all the stores that are going out. You and in Manhattan, I'm, I'm looking at so many empty storefronts. Phil, I'm, that's not the point I'm making here. The point is so that Trump on the is on the is on the ropes when it comes to his empire. Is, and, and do you think that he should pay it when there's an, uh, when he's appealing it? No, you he know, shouldn't pay. He, he shouldn't. Right he, he, no, but he has a right to appeal. But he has to come up with the money and put it he in escrow money. because he owes that money. Now, if he is found, let's say, innocent in the appeals court. He'll get all that money back, but he yeah, has but to there's... place that in escrow a, in order to have the appeal. Otherwise, yeah, there, he can't do the there's appeal. There's no reason why he can't post a bond against that uh, claim. But he hasn't done it. Who's well, going to give it to him? Nobody's going to give him the he's bond. Not worth, he's, he's not he's good for un, He is un, according to what everybody is saying, he right now is unbondable. There's nobody yeah, that will I mean, give him that money. I mean, for you um, never get it back. Why don't you give it be, to him? He, you just open he, the window and throw it out. It would be secured <laughs> against real estate. I don't trust him, Phil. He, he wouldn't pay you back. Well, you don't trust. You think he trusts you? Do you think? No, he's got a. Do you think the bomb? They tried to kill the judge out because they sent powder. My brother sent to the thing, but it was fake. Yeah, they sent. Uh, he, was, he was across the street when in the other office building. They had everybody down there, the cops. You're saying that that's his minions. That Trump his did minions. that. You know, if they're going to send oh, white powder, minions, if they're going to send white powder, why don't they send cocaine? Come on. Yeah, I was you were say that. Come on. Uh, uh, that's because uh, Hunter, Hunter Biden uh, has all of that at the White House. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> they found it in the bathroom, remember? Yeah, they can't get anthrax through U.S. Post Office. Yeah. No? Uh, have you tried? 
because that's what we test for. Uh -huh. We test with Northrop Grumman. We test all the mail going through really? the anthrax. Really? That, every, was first, every, that was our first. Every, yeah, that was our first essay. Every, except, every, wait a minute, every except mail that comes out of Walnut Creek. Every envelope that goes through. <laughs> Yeah. Every envelope that goes through one of the major hubs, the U.S. Post Office hubs, goes through, goes through Northrop Grumman <clears throat> machine, and our machine is inside there. The mail goes through, creates like a little tornado. We take air samples every half hour. Wow, wow. that's cool. Very, very cool. That's, yeah. So that's within cool. that half hour, can some of those things get through, or they no. just know that it's in there? No, because it'll be in there. There's residual air that, that it'll detect for. So how can they trace it down to the individual piece? They don't trace it down to an individual piece. If it signals that there's anthrax, it shuts everything down. All the doors oh. will close, and everybody's sealed in that that office space. Yeah. So. Oh well, uh, God, I hope that happens, and Trump's sealed in there too. Uh, yeah, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wonder why the guy's wife left him. You know. But she's still with him, technically, right? She's still there. That, no, I'm talking about Bill's still there. wife. Oh. One's, oh. The, one's <laughs> in the golf course. <laughs> Bill's <laughs> wife. Uh, one's in the golf course. Remember. Hold on the <laughs> that was a cheap shot, Alan. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. How do you bury your wife, Alex, in a golf course? I mean, really? <laughs> That's got to be the cheap shot by, 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 by putting a T on her nose. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Everything they do is tacky, really. You just can't make it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make up those shoes that he... He's selling all gold so, in even, American even, flag. <laughs> even the most homey uh, 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 gangster uh, black person in America wouldn't buy those fucking shoes. You hey, know Alex, I mean? did you hear what he said about the black people? <laughs> they like him now because of his mugshot. Yeah, yeah, because they they can relate <laughs> to one of them. Him. They can, but that's not a, that's not a racist remark. No, <laughs> that's no. not. He's one of them. Oh, he hasn't been one of them in his whole life, Phil. Hey, God. Alex, how many pairs of those shoes are you getting? <laughs> you got the Trumpy uh I got uh, the Trumpy bear. bear. Yeah. yeah. Trumpy bear, yeah. But it didn't cost four hundred bucks. Four hundred dollars I could buy a Nintendo Switch with that in a Mario before I give it to him. Huh? <laughs> He's crazy. I bet you they're made in China, Alex, those sneakers. I wanna know where they're made. We got them made in China. Yeah, he's got. The, he hates them so much, but they're making it sneakers. They're certainly not made in the United States. You know, no, I was just going to say that. Holly Dowdy. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Because my Trump. Hat. Wait a minute. I have, a, I have a quote here from Nike. We wouldn't make that shit. Yeah. <laughs> my my Trump hat is actually made in the U.S. Really. Yeah. Did uh, you see the, the Larry David episode when he was eating at the diner? No, the they all cursed him. The it was made in, made in China with U.S. labels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's crazy. right. <laughs> now, that's what Tony used to do with the hats. I, no, that's the oh, rip the sides. He used to get the wrong size sometimes. Yeah. I, don't I, know, know, I, I heard they're sold out. I'm surprised you didn't buy any shoes. By the way, some of the lowest amount of people listening to us right now. Yeah. yeah. No, it was record high at the beginning. Then after five mm -hmm. minutes... <laughs> really? Hey, you know, we, I thought we had a nice half hour. I was yeah. trying to be friendly and and nice. I, I think and... that was a good half hour. I'll yeah, be I like the question. I, I think that know. was good that you interviewed Alex. I think you did a great job. Thank you, well, Alex. Then when we asked interview. you your opinion on Trump, our numbers went into the dumper. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. So what well, else you knew? You knew that's what was going to so, happen. Yeah. Well, maybe what we should do is. Uh, Let's talk about the, all the good things Biden has done. Yeah, I, I don't. Well, we get off the president and talk about other things in world affairs. All yeah. right. Well, let's talk about Putin. Oh, it's a nice, you just misunderstood. Uh, you know, I saw I saw an interview with Tucker Carlson and this Lex Friedman tonight, and he was saying that if Putin probably didn't have anything to do with killing his opponent that was in prison because why would he do it when they were uh, having a meeting about because funding that's Ukraine? that's what Putin does. No, but yeah. NATO was having a meeting that was talking about funding Ukraine. Why would they do, why would they kill this guy when uh, all it was going to do was help because fund Putin the war against him? Because Putin is crazy. Do you yeah, think he, he died of malnourishment? Yeah, yeah exactly. He's got a dot in there. Well, it's cold there. <laughs> Like a it was in Siberia, right? Well, according to his mother, he had been tortured. That there were tor marks on oh. his body. Yeah. 
And he probably he probably used that same you know stuff they gave him the last time that uh, poison which uh, leaves the body within 24 hours. Yeah, you know? I know that's why you said that they held the body. They for held a the body. Weeks. Body. They wouldn't let the mother have it for at least a week or something like that because they didn't want any trace of the uh, of the poison to be in him. So, you yeah. Know. Well, but she's got the body now. Now, yeah. what they're going to do with it, I don't know. They weren't originally. They weren't going to let her have it. I think the reason they didn't want her to have it is they didn't want to bury him somewhere where people could come and make a memorial out of it. You know. Well, they did the same thing with Ben uh, Ben Laden. Bin Laden. Yeah, they buried. Oh him yeah, at they sea. buried him at sea. For exactly they dumped him in the ocean. Yeah. 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 yeah, didn't want. So uh, and Phil is scuba diving every day looking <laughs> for him. <laughs> Man, did you see him pull the up? fish no, beat to it. Like, I, love, I think I know you. You know, we've been looking. We found the Titanic a long time ago. Let's go looking for Bin Laden's body. Yeah, he's probably on the Titanic on the bow. Yeah. Well, uh, well what's that uh, submarine that uh, went down to the, the Titanic recently oh, and uh, that was an, imploded? That wasn't really a submarine. That was that was a submersive? A submersible, a submersible. I, I guess so. Yeah. 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 Well. It was a real a real submersible because it went down, and never came back up. Yeah, exactly. you know? That's, and that was small. I could never get in that thing. What? Oh. That thing is so tight. They showed it on one of the no, history. It, 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 there was nothing scientific about it. You know, it was a it was a an oil can with a, with a a joystick. The filmmaker carbon... that does his own camera or whatever. He said that it was a disaster waiting it, to happen. It was. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what's camera. all that stuff on your car, Brian? Uh, carbon, carbon fiber. Yeah, so it was. I think it was carbon fiber, and uh, yeah, but you uh, don't make those things out of carbon fiber. Uh, I'm pretty sure they did. No, but you don't. Well, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it had I gone down think, before. I think Phil's right. I think it was made out of carbon fiber. It was made out of carbon fiber, but you don't make them out of carbon fiber. Right. That's right, and that's why it imploded. Well, when um, Cameron went into the Mariana Straits, what was his Mariana submersible? Trench? Yeah, yeah, trench. What was his submersible made out of? Big trench. Steel. Uh, it was seven miles. Yeah. Well, by, the, by, by the by the way, somebody somebody there, here right? wrote that Trump uh, it's a, a Trump Tower the apartment in Trump Tower is eleven thousand square feet. He claims thirty thousand square feet. Well, well he's got a common yeah. area. Patio. <laughs> <laughs> he owns the building. Not <laughs> not for much longer. I was just going to say yeah, how long it's going to be up to sale. You know, not for much longer. I I want to. I hear I wanna, they can't touch his property outside of New York. Well, no, because no, he can't. They can't touch his property. So new, this nothing is nothing in Florida, well, nothing in New Jersey. Yeah, so. but this is a New York uh, thing. Case. Yeah, it's oh, a New okay. York case, and it's New York that's trying to recover damages. Okay. Yeah. Well, they ought to do it. Just take the buildings and move on. They'll probably get Trump Tower. They'll probably take the uh, Trump uh, office building downtown, down in Wall Street. That's another, but it doesn't even come close. You know, it doesn't no, come I guess close. they're going to lose. I out. guess, I guess, probably the one in uh, Columbus Circle, uh, tr and I don't know if that's just naming rights as opposed to him actually owning it. Yeah, uh, but you guys are enjoying this. Oh, we uh, love every minute of it, yeah, Phil. Yeah, I, I can because tell. people who lived in New York and have lived with Trump all these years are so glad this is happening to him because well, he's been know. such an asshole. You go they, the, they were giving away free champagne when he moved to Florida. Go back and watch the movie about the uh, about the uh, Central Park Four. You know that was good. Yeah, yeah. he put a full page ad out. Who he took a full page ad out and said we I should be, that we should be executing these people. And eventually, they were found completely not guilty. Yes, and, and, and yes, eventually, Tony. the oh. same thing. And he's for the Trump. black people. What? He's for the black people, Trump. Oh yeah, yeah. execute him before a trial. The trouble is, they're not for him. I mean, they, you know, they found Hard. guilty, but they had the DNA to get them all. But who takes a full page ad off, Phil, before the trial? Yeah. It was I mean, that's real. Come on, when you trust the judge, and they got the DNA set them off. Yeah, I'm not from. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, well, you that should deal. be familiar with it. It was a very big miscarriage of justice. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It was a rush to judgment. And uh, but they 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 got they got, they, they settled for a lot of money because they declined million, like forty million years. forty million yeah but when you consider they, they were in jail they can, for fifteen years they could put up ten percent of the fine yeah you know, yeah but 
you know, I was, they were 15 years. They were in prison, four of them. Separate yeah. that among the of, of the 40 th well, million. But then again, Trump the lawyers probably got 10 million of it. Yeah. Well, let know. me ask you this: Was it Trump? That uh, that convicted him? No, Why it was Trump he... that he convicted him in, in his ad in the press. Right. Well, yeah, but that's an ad. You know, if it no, went but to a that, jury, what kind of what kind, of, a, what a kind of American thing is that to try somebody to uh, uh, call somebody try guilty, him in the press? but uh, call him guilty before they're even on trial? Come on. You mean what they do to Trump? No. Yeah, but this oh, is the thing. Jesus, is it? Phil. Ooh. You yeah. know, uh, you're 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 looking at DAs that looked for a crime before they had it. That's that's what they did. The the DA in New York uh, or the uh, the the state attorney, I think state attorney general, he uh, uh, he wanted to uh, he ran on convicting Trump. He didn't even have a crime. He was looking for a crime. And the same thing with Fannie Willis. They didn't have a crime. They they were looking for a crime. She ran on. I'm going to. Well, you see, you don't Trump. find crimes unless you look for them, Phil. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they're they're. Uh, if you're a they were the looking. Cop, you wait okay, for somebody I, to call. I admit it to everybody who's watching. This whole thing was a put on. Phil yes. doesn't mean anything he says. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, it's a big exactly. joke, and I just want everybody to know that. And oh, I'm so sorry. I want you. If to you know. were taken in by it. What? Yeah. I like right. it. You the man. It sounds good. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> I mean, you can't. But you have to admit, some of his, Trump's traits are just not genuine. You have to admit. How you can even be um, for a human being like that? You know, I can see being for uh, any one of a number of. Uh, I can even see being for Ted Cruz. You know, even though he's an asshole too. But yeah, but, but Trump is just a morally corrupt human being. You know, uh, they have been persecuting him since two thousand. Does he cheat on his wife? Hmm? Does he cheat yeah, on his he wife? got divorced. Wait, 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 on Does he cheat on his wives? Yeah. Okay, you approve of that? No. No. Okay. Hey, Phil, as a newbie, can I ask you your opinion on the former president on January 6th? Do you think there was anything wrong with him uh, chilling out there for three and a half or four hours? Yeah, I think he should have said something, but I don't know that the people that were committing the... Uh, the uh, the protests the crime would have would have been aware of what he was saying. I mean, how do you how do, do you, you communicate? Do you, do you think that as he says he's going to do, he should go ahead and um, pardon all the people who've been convicted for I think he'll yes, do it for January sixth. Yes, really, because, really, it's okay to then it's okay to attack our seat of government. Stop yeah, the proceedings of the it. seat of government where the election of a president is concerned that's okay they went they that's went there and i saw hours of tapes of Whoa. the of the uh police on tucker carlson those protesters on tucker carlson in where and he showing cherry them around, picked, including the where shaman Tucky, guy tucker carlson cherry picked the uh video yeah. no 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 the only things that got cherry picked were the ones that the government but well, were they supposed to, to be to there phil were they allowed to, to, to be try there? these people Phil, exactly well, if you, if I'm very disappointing in in you, that you won't stand up for the fact that these people were trying to literally subvert the process of America yeah, and democracy. Yeah. I I think it was a protest that got out of hand. Oh. I don't think they were trying to subvert. It's it. a so, like ten people died. It's just got out of hand. That's no, the all. And when he said, "I'm going to march down," march, when he said, "March down to the Capitol," I'll I'll be joining you. And you say fight like hell because you never have a Peacefully anymore. make your voices heard. Peacefully. He didn't say that from, he when he was. Say that. He yes, didn't he did. say he no. He said that you later on. He said that later on. He didn't say that. No, I, it was it was done I, I've seen while the speech. he was making like four the speech. Hours after no, he, he, did. Did. he didn't. He was say making peaceful. the speech. He didn't say peacefully. Yeah. <laughs> if he had said it, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in right now. Well, you're all uh, beautiful. Now go home. You're yeah, all beautiful. Exactly. You're lovely. We love you. I love after you. He ate his pork chops, and they, they burn the place down. Then he comes on an hour later after he's yeah. like a cough. Anyway, we're playing the theme, by the way, in case you oh, don't. Oh, thank know. God. <laughs> the longest <laughs> hour we've had ever. Yeah, there is no, uh, there's no Amy Manuel tonight because she's out uh, working the polls tonight. Yeah, is she still yeah, she's dancing? Yeah, she, she's a dancer in a club. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's she's working on the polls. That was cute, Bill. That was cute. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, uh, I, I appreciate you all uh, putting up with Phil, and I appreciate Phil putting up with you. Okay. And we yeah. should get double pay for tonight. I think so. Yes. You get double Absolutely. the cabinet bucks. You know, okay. Thank double you. secret. Thank you. You're going to get double secret probation. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you, Phil, for joining us You're tonight. Welcome. Thank you uh, to uh, Alan for joining us. Uh, 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 John, good seeing you again. Boy, two nights in a row. Hope we see you tomorrow Oh, he even night. spoke up today. Yeah. And by the way, he didn't have any trouble with the... Uh, with the no, he was, I saw him last night. He was good. Yeah. Brian, thank, thank you, you so much. much. And tell Adrian, thank you for dropping by for a second. Uh, yeah, Jeff, thank Jeff Stein, lot. thank you down there in Florida. And, uh, of course, thank you to Tony as well. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. There is no Amy Manuel next, so I will just sign off now and tell you that we'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.